Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Garnier. Again, I have to say, I say it all the time on my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do always say I love Garnier. Uh, just a heads up, I don't work for Garnier, um, but I love Garnier. So I'm just going to say it right off the bat. I'm expecting to love this because I love the brand in general. I love their skincare products, um, especially the Skin Experts range, which I've got reviewed on here. If you do like Garnier, what I will do is I'll link some videos from the brand um, that I have on my channel. I'll link them below. Also, if I have any links to where you can buy this from, I will also link it below as well. So... Here we have the Ultimate Blends range from Garnier, and this is the Strengthening Shampoo and the Strengthening Conditioner, um, and this is part of the Honey Treasures range, and this is supposed to strengthen, nourish, and protect. Um, and this is for hair that is damaged and prone to breaking, which is me. <laughs> um, I can't wait for the day when I don't have to say that. Um, but yes, my hair is very prone to breaking. Um, unfortunately, it grows very quickly, fast, uh, very quick, but it does break easily. So um, I was very excited to, to see this um, and yeah, I was excited to try it out. And it's honey and I love honey. Honey is um, absolutely great for the skin um, and also the hair. Honey is just an all round amazing product. I do talk about it quite a bit on my channel because I love it. Um, and I really was excited to, to try this out because I had not tried it before. So and I was also using a honey hair mask and it did wonders for my hair. And so when I saw this, I thought hopefully I'll get the same kind of results. So first of all, the smell, it smells amazing. It of course smells of honey. It's funny because I'm not really a honey fan um, in terms of eating it, but I use it all the time for my hair and skin. I love it, um, which is kind of strange, but it smells lovely. It does smell of honey, but it has more to it than that. It kind of smells, if you've ever used um, products with lots of oils in, um, like almond oil, that kind of thing. It kind of has that type of scent to it. Um, I don't actually know if it has almond oil in it, but it kind of reminds me of that smell. Um, but it smells very, very nice. There is a scent. Um, some people don't like scented products, so I do always talk about the smell because sometimes that puts people off. I personally love scented products, especially for my hair. I like my hair to smell nice, um, when I've washed it. So, they do also have a mask that comes with this little set, um, but I didn't get it this time round simply because I've bought loads of hair masks recently um, for me to review on my channel. Um, and I thought I'll leave that for another day. Let me just focus on these two and then I'll get the mask at a later date. So I will be getting the mask, but I just wanted to focus on these two. Um, not everybody uses hair masks, so I thought, you know, let me focus on these first and I'll do a separate video for the mask. So, like I said, I did get the shampoo and conditioner. I do think if you want to try something like this, I would always recommend buying both because you're going to get the full result. Um, if you just buy one or the other and then use a completely different shampoo or completely different conditioner with it, I don't really think that makes sense. Um, you really want to have matching shampoo and conditioners. It doesn't matter what it is, which brand it is, always try and go for a matching shampoo and conditioner. If you want a different treatment mask after that and that's a different brand, that's fine. But I think when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, you should always buy the same. So... Um, I love the fact that these bottles are 360 ml. That is absolutely massive. Um, you can, well, I've been shaking it around. I've only used a little bit. It's only to about here. Um, but that, you know, I can, I can still review it from that because, you know, I think when it comes to a shampoo and conditioner, you can tell if you like it or not quite early on. Um, so they come in nice big bottles. It is plastic. I love the fact it's big bottles, but I'm conscious of the fact that it's big plastic bottles um, which, you know, isn't the best, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do try not to get plastic packaging when it's there, but I didn't, I never see shampoos or conditioners that aren't in plastic bottles. I'm sure they're out there, but I never see them. Um, if you know of any brands that have, uh, shampoos and conditioners that aren't in plastic packaging, then let me know. I would love, I genuinely would love to know. Um, these are completely recyclable, um, and there's part, there's part of the bee welfare program as well. Um, so they're saying they do it in a safe way. They don't harm the bees. Um, you know, sometimes there can be some controversy around honey and how do they get the honey? Are the bees, um, you know, um, 
protected and looked after and this is part of the bee welfare program so they are claiming that everything is safe um, they look after the bees and let me see what else it says about it i did read it somewhere it might have been online um, it says we are building a sustainable honey sourcing program that protects bees our beekeepers are using traditional practices preserving bees welfare and pollination services that help maintain biodiversity so yes i did i'm sure i read some more online um, but it was really interesting so if you are interested in that have a look um, so anyway uh, I love the ingredients in here. So we have some honey, we have um, flowers, we have beeswax. Um, it's got some really, really nice ingredients in here. Um, what else do we have? We've got aloe vera. Um, it's, got, it's got glycerin, which is great um, for your skin and hair, makes it nice and soft. Um, it's got salicylic, I always say this word wrong, salicylic, I can never say it right, salicylic, you know what I'm trying to say, acid. I always say that wrong, I don't know why. Um, so it's got some really, really good ingredients in here. Very, very nourishing, it's gonna keep your hair soft. Um, and I definitely noticed that. Um, I think definitely I need to try the mask to really see major differences in my hair. I think, depending on how damaged your hair is, you might be able to get away with just using the shampoo and conditioner. But for me personally, I feel like I would need the mask for that extra boost of ingredients. Um, and when this runs out, I will probably just go shampoo and then straight to the mask. I don't feel like you need a shampoo, conditioner and a mask. You can use both of these or you can use shampoo and a mask. Um, that's what I would do because a mask is basically just a conditioner, but it's it's thicker. Um, it's got more concentrated ingredients in there. So you really don't need to condition and then mask. Um, so that's what I usually do. But for now, I bought these and I really, really like them. They're nice and creamy. Um, they feel nice quality. The scent is amazing. They made my hair feel nice and soft and shiny. Um, I wasn't overwhelmed like, wow, my hair is amazing. But to be honest, I usually get those results with uh, masks rather than shampoos and conditioners. Um, for me, like I said, my hair is very dry. Um, it's quite brittle. So I really need extra extra nourishment in my hair and that's what I get from the mask so I'd say for a shampoo and conditioner this is fantastic but I definitely can't wait to try the mask but if you are looking for something for your dry and damaged hair this will really really help it it smells amazing really big packet packaging um, so it will last a long time um, and I love it it's got some great ingredients in there I've got nothing bad to say about it um, apart from let's try and get rid of this plastic um, but yeah, I really like it. I really recommend it. If you do like Garnier, what I will do is I'll leave some links below to more Garnier reviews. Um, and yeah, I will try and find a link for where you can buy this online. Um, I know they sell this in boots, um, but I will have a look online to more online stores um, if you want to have a look at where you can get it from. So if you did find this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and also um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll just quickly do a little, that's what the conditioner looks like. It's nice and creamy, smells amazing. But yeah, I'm excited to try the mask because I feel like, you know, it's just gonna be thicker um, and I'm gonna get even better results. But I definitely like this. I'm looking forward to using the rest of the bottle, which is going to last me ages because I don't wash my hair too often because it dries your hair out and takes all the natural oils out of your hair. So you don't wanna be washing your hair too much. Um, but I definitely recommend it. So that's my review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.